I wanted to just do a quick video on how masks work with in terms of the seals and breathing in and out and um, I thought this would be a good chance to do it. Now I accidentally, when I put the filter on the C4, I must CM4, I must have screwed it in too tight because I had a hard job getting it off and I didn't want to rip the mask so I thought I'll disassemble the mask, get the filter off, if it goes back together and works that's good, if not oh well. But I thought while it was apart I'd show you a valve assembly, so how valves actually work on gas masks. So you have an intake valve, you can see the filter's screw thread is there, that's your intake. And you have your exhale valve, and this one's actually got a double one. So let's pop that off. There's the top cover, there's one exhale valve, underneath there's another exhale valve. And these are quite straightforward things. Pop that back on. So basically, when you inhale, you pull air through this valve. You can see it's sort of opening there with the weight of itself. That allows air to go through. But this valve means air can't go back out of this one. As you see there, it's designed so it would just push up. But it can fall open that way. Now the exhale valve works the opposite way around. Air can't come in through there. But air can go out of it. And the idea being that when you breathe out, the air is forced out of this section. So this is sort of um, how people say certain masks are obsolete. Especially sites trying to sell you particular masks. Masks don't become obsolete unless the rubber or the glue or anything becomes just too bad and it falls apart. Because a process like this is so simple, this is essentially how a gas mask works. Other than you needing a new filter on it, the entire process is simply air can only go through one way and the air can only come out the other way. The air drawn into the mask has to pass through the filter and be cleaned or scrubbed. And the air that's exhaled just goes straight out so it doesn't cause the mask to expand. That's all there is to a mask. So, just to show you, there's the um, <clears throat> CM4 without this on. <clears throat> what this would do is this would, if I can actually get it back on, would shove back into there. I bet I'm not going to be able to do this easily. But, <clears throat> yeah, this would go back into the mask here. Then there's a metal band that goes on to sort of crimp it into place so it can't fall out. And then there's this rubber band that goes over that as an extra layer of security. But in theory, although masks may look complicated, this is the only actual part that has any function to it. The filter does all the work, but this is just the air in, air out piece. And I think looking at it this way, it's quite easy to see the sort of entire process of valves. So hopefully that's informed you of how a gas mask works. As you can see there, there's the exhale valve, it moves this way, the other one moves the other way. Air goes in, air goes out. <clears throat> and that's the science of a gas mask, really. And there we go, that's the uh, intake-outtake assembly reassembled onto the mask, and hopefully it will still work.